Welcome back to Switch to Linux. Well, today we want to just do a very brief walkthrough of the new release candidate for Tails. So if you are a person who likes testing out distros, submitting bug reports, the Tails team does need your help. We are do uh, release or uh, talk. They have released their release candidate yesterday at the time I'm recording this. So there is a call for testing. If you head on over to their main website, you'll find this in the news. Call for testing for 4.0 RC-1. So with this, you can update Tor Browser uh, to 9.0a based on Firefox 68.1 ESR. Electrum goes up to 3.38. Linux to 5.32 and Tor to 0 0.416. Uh, there's some aspects to the t uh, Tails Greeter. I didn't see many changes there, but uh, we'll have a closer look at it here today. Uh, there is a few issues. Uh, let's see. Uh, fixed a few problems. Wisterback reports. Dozens of problems. Uh, literally, so there's a change log about some of the old issues. Spell checking works only on English. is a known issue right now. So um, that's something there. Unsafe browser tabs have the private browser name and the Tor browser's icon. That's something to be very aware of. And the on-screen keyboard does not allow any input uh, um, accentuated characters. So how to test it out? You can uh, grab a copy of it. So you can do manual upgrades. Um, you can automatically upgrade from 4.0 beta 1 to 4.0 beta 2. You can direct download the USB for USB sticks, and there's a separate one for virtual machines and DVDs. Now, we are going to be testing this in a virtual machine. Warning, warning, warning to you. Tails is not designed to be used in a virtual machine. So while we will be looking at it in a virtual machine today, because that is the best way to stream a video, uh, this is not... If you want to use a virtual machine for using a Tor network, you should use Hunix instead of Tails. But if you're taking that one to burn onto a DVD to run off a DVD, that is awesome. Or the USB sticks here. And then if you want the uh, BitTorrent downloads as well, you can do that. And of course, they have installation instructions. Now, once this goes into the regular support channel, then the regular ways of downloading it and scheduling it are, are up for there. So 4.0 official is scheduled to be released in, on October 22nd, which is 10 days from the day I am reading, uh, recording this. So anyway, um, let's go ahead and uh, have a look at this guy, shall we? So I'm going to go ahead and uh, jump on over to my desktop view now. Where's my desktop view? There we are. All right, so I'm just going to set up a basic, um, uh, a basic uh, Debian um, virtual machine here. And I already put the Tails DVD in this. So, of course, I downloaded the one that is used for DVDs and virtual machines. And we are going to go ahead and give this machine a start and see what happens. So when I was doing my testing last night, the only issue that I found, I was not actually able to use um, uh, Onion Share. That could be because we're on a, on a virtual machine setup. I, I know I had issues with that before when I was testing this on a virtual machine, but when I went over to look thoroughly at it on an actual uh, live real hardware, it seems to work fine. So uh, something goofy with Onion Share on this. I'm not submitting the um, bug report on that at this point in time uh, just because we're running this on a virtual machine and um, I did not get a chance to test out everything that I wanted to first. But anyway, that's something we're going to be looking at. So right here, this is the this is the welcome to Tails screen so we can pick our language, our keyboard layout, our format. Uh, we can shut down, we can start. If you click on the plus, we can do administrative password, which is off by default. So if you want to set an admin password, installing software, things like that, you might want to do that. The MAC address spoofing is on by default, and the network connection is direct by default. So if you need to change some things around, you can do that in here before starting Tails. We're not going to change any of that stuff right now. So we're going to go ahead and click on the button there and load this guy up. It's going to go down into its screen and boot back up. Now when this finally gets on, uh, you'll see it's very slight tweaks to the UI. looks very similar except the... Um, the status bar up here is, uh, it's a little bit more translucent in here, which is just as cool. I, I think it looks, uh, looks pretty nice. So we have here, of course, we are on, uh, for those curious, we are on GNOME 3.30 at this 
release, which is definitely an upgrade from the last version of GNOME they had. Still not into that 3.32, 3.34, which is going to be a little bit quicker, but it's, uh, it is definitely an improvement over what it was in the past. So everything else up here is as we would expect. Of course, we do have desktop icons on GNOME. So yes, it is very possible. Thank you very much, Tails. That's useful. Although I think Tails is the place where that's least useful. We have uh, our status up here for opening our onion circuits so we can see how our circuitry is going. We have Evil Mo. I was on one last night. It was a free Assange. Uh, so you can kind of see how our... Um, uh, how our uh, tour circuits are going. Everything's running well. We have accessibility options over here, all built up. We have our language settings over here. So we have everything that we need out of the box. Now, I like Tails the most of all of the anonymous type systems because it has all of the production software you need without having to try and fight anything else. It mounts drives easily. That's something I was not able to find on heads which was supposed to be like a system d free version of this and uh everything else though um it's just this seems to flow a little bit better this version has key pass xc instead of key pass x i'm not sure if this is the first version with xc in it um since i have not used key pass x on uh, tails before i hadn't paid particular attention to the versions, but this is the first time I personally have noticed that it's XC version instead of X. Of course, this is probably not going to work well if we do not have um, our persistent volume set up. But that brings me to another reason why I like Tails more than most of these is if we were to have this installed on a USB drive, we can configure our persistent volumes. Now, if I try and access this right now, it's going to give us an error that we are running from a non-USB system. So that is to be expected because we are not uh, able to create the persistent volume in this type of setup. But if you were to actually install this to a USB drive, you can set up your consistent or your persistent volume. Your consistent volume, that's right. You can set up your persistent volume and go ahead and do that. We have some additional software over here. Um, we can only do this again when we are running in persistence. So a lot of these uh, Tails tools here are designed for that. So that is a, a great thing. As far as other tools and options that we have, here is our Tor browser. So if we boot this guy up, this is a new logo. I think this same logo was there before, but I think it was, wasn't it purple before, if I'm remembering correctly? Uh, let's see. We have GIMP. We have Inkscape. Let's go ahead and have a look at some of these versions here in a moment. Uh, we can see here we are running the test version of Tails. So make sure you're not doing anything super kind of crazy on this guy. Let's go ahead and do a tour check, though. Make sure that uh, everything is working. And I can confirm that is not my IP address. JavaScript is enabled. Um, do we have no script running on default? Uh, <clears throat> okay, so no script, no script is there. I'm just not seeing. It's just not put up in the uh, theming up there. I'm not sure if it's turned on by default. Um, but anyway, it does actually exist in the system. So we have uh, uBlock Origin. We have no script. Um, everything else is there. All right, we got. Let's have a look at GIMP. I know the LibreOffice is 6.1 branch. I tested that out yesterday. So we are on GIMP 2.10. For GIMP, we have Inkscape. We have an Electrum Bitcoin wallet, um, If for those interested in that. The Onion Chair was the one I was not actually able to get working. And they said something about the unsafe browser. So let's go ahead and boot up the unsafe browser there. Um, Have a look at the unsafe browser. Yes, let's launch the unsafe browser. All right. Tails warning. So it does give us the unsafe browser. I'm not sure if that notice was there, but uh, this guy there is the unsafe. All right, shutting down the unsafe browser. Now here is the onion share. And for whatever reason, I just could not get this guy doing anything. Let's go ahead and give it a... 
a quick test here today. Now, one of the things that you um, used to be able uh, used to have to use with Onion Share is you'd have to be inside of your Tor browser folder. So let's go ahead and just drop a file in there. Let's just go ahead and create a new file over here. Uh, test. Go ahead and save it as a test file inside of the Tor browser location. All right, so there we have it. Let's go ahead and add our file and Tor browser location, test file, start sharing. And then what it would do is it just kind of sit here for a long time and then the whole system would crash on me. So let's go ahead and do that. Again, this could be just because we are in a virtual machine. Now, what you might notice if you're looking at this, you're thinking, man, there's a lot of applications here I wouldn't use. It seems pretty bloated and you're new to Tails. This is actually not a problem. The reason they do this is because it will have all of the basic system tools for any basic functionality without having to install any other extra software. That is actually very important because if adding extra software could have, whoa, it worked. Look at that. This is actually the first time. Maybe I was just on a bad tour network uh, yesterday. But now if we were to take this guy here, I can copy this address. I can share this with somebody. And uh, you guys could grab this file anonymously through the Tor network. So, yeah, it wasn't working for me last night. It seems to be working now. Um, that's possibly just because uh, maybe I was on a bad tour network. Um, so let's go ahead and close down Onion Share. Very pleased that that's working now. That's awesome. So if you're unfamiliar with Onion Share, is a great way to anonymously share files. So you know if you're like a whistleblower and you have to get real information out to somebody, Onion Share is one of the best ways to do it. So you can share that free service, and then it will self-destruct itself. Um, so anyway, what I was saying is that uh, adding extra software into a system, like you could go into Synaptic here and add extra software, but any extra software adds a potential vector uh, for attack, but all of the information inside of Tails has already been completely audited and vetted for ultimate privacy and security. So that's why it has a lot of tools that you, while you may not use them all, it's actually excellent that they are all here so that you can do everything. So in other words, Tails, you in theory should not have to install a lot of extra specific software onto it. We do have the Tails installer. If I were to have a USB drive, I can install onto there. And uh, let's go ahead and have a look at our system monitor. Of course, I've already booted some things up and things. We should have done that earlier, but we are running on about a gig of memory, which is quite a bit, but not too unusual for Debian running GNOME 3.30. Uh, so, Overall, it looks like this is going to be a good system. Also, as of a few versions ago, if you're using Veracrypt, Tails does unlock Veracrypt out of the box. That was added in a few uh, a few uh, uh, versions back. But everything else is is pretty good. So we have everything that we might need here. Um, there's GTK hashers again. Um, there's Inkscape, LibreOffice is there. Um, video editing. We used to have. We used to have PTV installed by default, but maybe uh, they've taken that out. Unless I'm just missing it. Yeah, there used to be a video editor built into it as well, but I'm not seeing that now. Maybe nobody was using it, and so I was like, why bother? I don't think I've ever used it either. Anyway, uh, so there is uh, Tales 4. So again, if you are into testing out software, giving people uh, bug reports and things like that, definitely go ahead and have a look at this. Again, remember that it is uh, release candidate software, so it's not specifically designed to uh, be used for all of your regular needs. But with that being said, um, let me know your thoughts. Do you use Tails? Do you have questions about Tails? I, I use it as my primary anonymous browsing system. So... Let me know your thoughts and all that down in the comments below.